Good morning, everybody. On this week's Care in the Kitchen, I'm so excited to introduce you to Chef uh, Okoy Graham of Nanny's Jamaican right. Kitchen. So good to have you here. Definitely. It's a wonderful pleasure to be here as well. Uh, we got to a glimpse of your, your backstory because Jason yes. did a, a wonderful piece on how you became who you are and your chef ways. Yeah, you have yes. quite the background in terms of how you got to where you are now. Can you tell us more about that? So um, growing up in Jamaica, um, being the oldest of three boys raised by a single mom, um, normally when I would get home from school, my mom would write down information on how I should finish cook what she started so me and my siblings could have something to eat while she goes off to work. Beyond that, ending up going to high school, where I actually fall into the same thing doing cooking in high school because um, after learning to cook with my mom, eventually I went to high school and was doing the same thing because they were taught a skill in high school back in Jamaica. Fell in love with that and the rest has simply been slowly nothing but history. <laughs> you said you were cooking for a few decades now. Uh, almost two decades. That's crazy. So I've been in the kitchen since I was like eight years old and professionally 18 years ago. In wow, that's yes. amazing. It already smells really good in here. So yes, he's does. opened uh, up seven months ago now? Seven months ago now on Rice Street on the North End in St. Paul. You have to check it out. Yes. You have been a few times now. <laughs> yeah, yes. two times already. Two times, yeah. Went this, uh, this past weekend to get some food. But uh, yeah, opening, opening up a business in this climate, not, not exactly the easiest thing, is it? It is not, but um, to be honest, if you want something and you work hard for it, I think nothing is really able to stop you if you're very persistent and adamant about what you want. I love that message. Yes. And you told us you were up preparing for the store, the, the restaurant today at like 1.30. 1.30. And preparing this to be on the show. So uh, you're making what? The, the ital stew that we have on the menu, that's a very popular item. Um, it's gluten-free, dairy-free, a very warm dish for my gluten friends and um, vegan individuals as yeah. well so you know let's get started uh, i was gonna say a lot of people when they think of jamaican food they think of jerk pork jerk chicken 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 chicken, 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 chicken a lot Definitely. of that stuff but this is this is a little bit different than all of that it is totally good. different because um one of the things is that there's a small group of people in jamaica that's called the rasafarian and that's particular their diet um mm -hmm. vegan food they don't eat any meat so this is one of many dishes that they consume which is amazing. Yes. You have such a, a big, wide-ranging menu. So mm -hmm. where do we begin with this stew? So what we want to do, we want to begin with by adding some olive oil, of course. And definitely want to use olive oil. It doesn't have to be extra virgin olive oil. You know, olive oil, in a sense where everything that you're doing is it's a healthy base. Right. Okay. So you're using everything from start to finish. It's all about being healthy, cooking healthy. You want to start off with your olive oil. I've always been confused about olive oil. Like, yeah. there's so many different types: extra right. virgin, yes. light tasting. I don't know what the difference is. Olive oil is olive oil to me. Right. It is. <laughs> it is. And then definitely want to get um, some garlic and some onion saute off. It already smells good. Because mm. yum. When you think about Jamaican food, everything always consists of a lot of flavor. Mm, so so true. you So you definitely want to bring out. Everything that's in the onion and the garlic, get it translucent, getting all that flavor out. You add your thyme in it as well. I also like things spicy too. Yeah. Yes. Which I know you're, you don't <laughs> I can, so I can much. do a certain level of spice. Okay. I can't do like mouth burning, you know, get me some water. Water, kind of milk. Milk. Pass <laughs> the milk. Spice is good. I like a little, oh, bit, yeah. a little bit of a burn. Yes. Is fine. But not too much spice. Where you can't taste anything. Right. Yes. So we slowly continue to add all our vegetables, like our potatoes. And the carrots. Oh. And what you're doing is you're sweating all that vegetables, so all that flavor is getting into the vegetables. Yeah. All of that. So this is your mom's recipe, somewhat. W one of many. One of many. <laughs> one, one That's of why many. she's on your logo. Yes. It's the cutest thing. She's Represent. gotta be so proud. Definitely. Yeah, your mom Aww. means so much to you, doesn't she? I can tell this. She means more than the world to me. Oh, yeah, so. now I'm gonna cry. Yes. Here we go, Jason. <laughs> No crying. Here yeah. comes the water. No crying <laughs> over true. Yeah. You know, she means the world. Mm -hmm. And with anyone having a mom like me, that is where I develop my persistency from, you know, adamant about what I want to achieve. You know, I'm on the phone with her three, four times per day. You had to turn on airplane mode because you were like, she's going to be calling during this segment. I so love definitely, that. so I had to check to turn on my phone on airplane mode because I'm like, I know she'll be checking on yeah. me. 
trying to figure out how is it going. So mm -hmm. I'm like, okay. To be a single mom to raise three boys yeah. on her own, that takes strength. She's a strong woman. And that is the reason how I came up to incorporate the name Nanny and put my mom picture in the logo because Nanny is uh, one of the only female heroes that we have in Jamaica who actually helped to fight the war to get the slaves free. And if you check it out, I look at my mom in that capacity where Nanny was a strong black woman. My mom is a strong black woman. So putting, putting those two together, who am I to think that I should even be thinking about failure? Uh -huh. right. <laughs> you know, so. You gotta be so proud. And yes. soon she's gonna be a grandma, which is really cool. Really soon. What is a grandma term in Jamaican? What do you call grandmas? Is it grandma? Uh, normally grandma, but um, a lot of folks have different fun names, just the same way as in America. Nana, Mama. Mama. <laughs> uh, Mama. Mama. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's just terms. So once we have all these vegetables cooking, what we do now, we add our coconut milk. That's, coconut that's milk. The, the key right there. That's a secret. The coconut, the coconut milk, milk is the key. Okay, what, is that, what does that add to the dish? A lot of flavor. A lot of flavor, not just flavor by itself. So normally when you're cooking a lot of dish, this is what's gonna happen now. It's actually gonna be cooking slowly. It's gonna eventually turn into similar like a cream sauce, but yeah. actually it's not cream, it's just coconut milk. With that being turned into the cream, that's where everything combined together. So all that flavor that we saute off with the garlic and the onion, and we sweat our vegetables, all of that's gonna bring everything together. So Once that comes together, then we add the rest of the um, vegetables and stuff. While this is slowly cooking, we add our Spice. Spice. What are we the, adding? So, a little bit um. You don't have to give away all your secrets. A little bit of the secret mixture that we have in store. <laughs> Do you guys sell your spices and sauces and stuff? Not as yet. Not it, yet. it is. It is something that we are projecting that we'll get to in due time. Um, we want to go slow and steady. Right. Not fast and fail. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you know, we're taking it one step at a time. I love that. He has this jerk of uh, uh, barbecue sauce that is just oh, yum. amazing. It only, comes in, it only comes in hot and very hot. There's no <laughs> barbecue. You don't nope. like spice. If you don't like spice, don't mess with it. <laughs> and our food already gives pack a punch of flavor already. So you can have it with, with the sauce or without the sauce. And yeah. it's just... Mm -hmm. It's good. It smells good. It smells very, very good. I love this. I love this whole <coughs> meal. All the veggies. So again, <coughs> Nanny's Jamaican Kitchen, mm -hmm. Rice Street in St. Paul. You guys just had a great article uh, written up about you, and you said it was packed. He's got spice in his throat it's the, now. The spices. <laughs> That's how good it is. He said the though the line around the there was like a line, people waiting in the cold to I, get in because oh, they I were imagine. like, we have to try it out. <laughs> Do you need some water? I feel like that. We're just watching him. <laughs> anyway, so uh, overwhelmed okay? by the spices here. You okay I there? Think we have some water in here. I'm okay, doing great. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but uh, it's uh, it's it's so popular. So many people are showing up yes. now and and then checking it out and checking you guys out because you guys are making good food there. Look at that. I'm a good sous chef. Good job. Um, good job. I'm a good sous chef. I was my mom trained me to cook too. Mm -hmm. Maybe not as good as this. Don't tell her. <laughs> this looks amazing. Oh. The good part about it is that she tried. Yes. <laughs> yes. This looks so amazing. Yeah, the smells right now and the flavors. Guy is going to come in too. Guy also is Jamaican, yes, which he is. is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So he knows all about uh, good flavor and good food and good cooking. Yeah, he's like, yeah, you better nice. believe I'm going to be coming back in to try <laughs> some of this food. So you let this cook down. Yep, so it's, what is happening now is that it's cooking, but while it's cooking, it's also reducing the liquid. So the more the liquid reduced, the thicker it becomes. Mm -hmm. So that helps to bring everything together. And while it's becoming thicker, it's actually creating a sauce. Yum. So this stew, would you eat it by itself or would you pour it on rice or how would you, how would you recommend? The funny thing about this stew is that it can be eaten so many different ways. Okay. You can eat it all just by itself because pretty much it's a whole meal by itself. Mm -hmm. You could have it with different components, rice, whatever you choose. It's just the perfect dish for the, for the winter as well. Right. You know, Need because, that warm bowl mm. of stew. Yes. Mm. That's perfect. What else is that? Do you guys just do like lunch and dinner? What else is on the menu? So just lunch and dinner for now. We're doing jerk chicken. We have curry chicken, brown stew chicken, oxtail, which is one of our top sellers. 
Never had oxtail. Yeah, I have to try it. That has to be on your list. Oxtail yes. is so good. I feel I'm like it's something I feel like you only get at a Jamaican restaurant. At least in, in the Twin Cities. Maybe I'm wrong. And they cook it right too. Yes. They right. definitely cook it right there. Um, do you guys do desserts? Um, not at this moment. And that is one of the part that I cannot wait for my mom to get here because she's the queen of baking. Okay. What's so, like a, a known Jamaican dessert? Jamaican potato pudding, of course. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> That's good. It's or cornmeal pudding. Mm -hmm. What about rum cake? Or rum oh. cake. Yes. Those you had are, us at rum. <laughs> those are what's going to set nannies apart from every other Jamaican restaurant. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. The desserts. Got to get grandma here. Yes. I'm already calling her grandma. And she's, <laughs> <laughs> she's already part of the family. I'm part of the family. You know, this is how we roll. This looks phenomenal. It does yes. smell fantastic. So really, how really long good. does it cook down for until it's tender? It's about just until you get the potatoes to cook, which they're diced very s small. Mm. So right. about another f about five minutes should be done. Once it's like, let's say it's a minute, a minute away from being finished cooked, you add in the rest of the vegetables and everything just slowly comes together. Uh, what kind of vegetables? I mean, can you vary it up? Can you choose whatever you want? Or is there certain ones that you have to have in the stew? It, it depends because you want to make sure you get vegetables that goes well together. Okay. Right. For example, broccoli goes good with just about anything. Mm -hmm. So it's all about balance of different flavors coming together. If you realize we have potato, we have carrot, we have yam that brings a little bit of sweetness right. to the entire dish. Mm -hmm. Then we have some kidney beans, broccoli, and we have some bell pepper, red and yellow. Now you would ask, why not green? <clears throat> Two things. We already have green broccoli. Oh, so you're and getting also, the color palette going. I uh, see also, the method to the madness. And also, every bell pepper gives a different flavor. Right. Okay. So you do not want to use a green bell pepper because you would not be adding the type of flavor that you're looking for. Interesting. So red and green makes it even way better. Where are these little shreds? I've been curious. <laughs> So those are, you have to develop really good knife skills to create those. Those are Is that called, Julienne style or very no, fine? That's like very, fine. Very, very thin. It's, um, I call it pepper curls. Pepper curls. Oh, and that, okay. That's what I'm going to use to actually garnish the dish. Okay. You know, oh, okay. You have to have a super sharp knife and possess. Pepper curls. Possess super good knife skills. How many cuts do you have on your fingers? None. <laughs> <laughs> I see you in action. He's just very None. precise. Pepper curls. Very I thought if anything, you like used a little like a peeler, like a oh, vegetable yeah. peeler or something. And then habaneros. I, was I saw ask, these. When does that come into play? So here? this is what you're gonna put in right now. So. Oh my oh, word! Right Let's in go. There. <laughs> Woo! Pop it right in there. As I said, again. Just Jamaica, the whole thing. Jamaican food is based upon a lot of flavor. You don't have to actually pop it. If you want it spicy, you can. Slice it up. <clears throat> but you can just leave it right in there. So that just adds a little It just heat. adds the flavor okay. by itself right I was going right to say, there. when you get those seeds in there, the seeds always break yes. back the heat. Yeah. And any, That's where like, it comes any from. Any time the pepper That's seeds That's when you're it. in trouble, when the yeah. seeds are in there. <laughs> That's a good idea. I like that. So as you can see, the sauce is slowly coming together. And if you look at the back of the spoon, yeah, it's a process that you know when, when your sauce is being made. It glazes the back of the spoon, which is called nappe. Nape. So, you know, as you can see, the sauce itself, the coconut milk, there's nothing added in there for the sauce to get thickener itself. It's just creating itself because coconut milk is itself is such, such a unique yeah. product by all by itself. It can be used for so many things. We have coconut water, coconut milk, coconut everything. It's coconut good. can be it's used in so many too. things, yes. It's really funny because I'm not a huge fan of coconut at all. I hate really? coconut, but when it comes to coconut milk and, and stews dishes, and rice, it's more savory. Yeah, it's, yeah. But if I had to just coconut itself, eating coconut itself, absolutely not. Wow, Jason, I'm learning so much about you. Yeah. <laughs> the more you know. The more you know. <laughs> that and like the starches of the potatoes are coming yes. out, so it's thickening it. So that's why you cook the potatoes in because the starch is coming from the potato as well, helping the coconut milk while it reduces. As you can see, the starch shows itself on the side of the pan. So while everything is cooking, reducing all of that, each component is just slowly coming together. Mm -hmm. um, you guys can't smell it right now <laughs> at home, but it, it smells, smells so good, amazing in here right now. This is uh, this is the reason why we should have smell a vision. What was your, <laughs> what was your favorite thing that your mom made you growing up, and still today? So to be honest, uh, my mom. We grew up on. I'm a child who is. 
you will find you will not find somebody who's more proud of where they're coming from than where I am today. Mm -hmm. And coming from a family who didn't have much, one of the things that always my mom always does is cook one pot meals where it's like simple, similar to exactly what we're doing right, right now. So it's vast majority of one pot meals. It could be soup, it could be a stew, anything that is just a one pot meal makes it very much easier. And up until today, I'm still, soup is my favorite dish. Yeah. Doesn't matter what kind of soup it is. Mm -hmm. This Reminds is my favorite dish, yes. She had a lot of mouths to feed. Yep. I want to meet your mom. Well, when she gets here, we're going to have her come on and show us how to really, no. <laughs> <laughs> how it's really done. Yeah. Mm. Uh, how often do you go back to Jamaica? Uh, it depends. I know, I um, think 2021, I went twice before that. I think at least, Put it on an average, I'll say, once every two years. Okay. Yeah. You're probably not often as you'd like, right? No. I'd, I'd like to go. I would like to get it's away on my list. every winter, but <laughs> yeah. unfortunately. Right now, yes. <laughs> oh, and w one thing you were telling me um, in the story that aired, a lot of Minnesotans end up in Jamaica. They go to yes, Jamaica there's, during there's, the winter. It's there's, a, a, there's a huge tourism market. There's a vast majority of folks travel to, to Jamaica from Minnesota every year. Wow. For example, one year I was there with my wife and on the balcony of the hotel, sitting down talking, eventually got into a conversation with my um, with a neighboring um, person in the hotel, started talking, then eventually told me, oh, we're from St. Paul, Minnesota. I'm like, what? <laughs> we're from St. Paul, Minnesota. Too. So it was, just, it was just funny to see. So after, many. You went on vacation and went so far away, your neighbor, is there still your neighbor? Right. Yeah. Yes. And it's why there's so many restaurants popping up here. People are yes. demanding it. People want they Jamaican want food Jamaican here food. in the Twin Cities. So as you can see, everything has been cooked so close. As you can see, the sauce is perfect. Mm -hmm. yes. So with the sauce having that type Ooh. of perfection, what you want to do, you want to add some of your broccoli. Because what you're going to do pretty much, you're almost in the finishing phase where you're adding all your vegetables now. So with adding all these vegetables. This is so healthy. You can eat the whole pot and not have any yeah, shame. That is so true. Yes. Adding all your broccoli, adding all your bell peppers. Because the kidney bean is already cooked, you right. can literally add it last. Okay. As you can Go see. based on the density of the vegetable. Yes. Because again, remember, peppers can be eaten raw. Right. Broccoli can be eaten raw. So we don't need to cook it for much longer. You know, the key thing was to make sure the sauce is made correctly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And once the sauce is made correctly, you can add in everything there. And if you realize, you're getting that aroma right now, it's totally different from when we begin because yeah. the peppers and the broccoli give it different Another flavor. Element. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god. The profile of all of it just yes. changed. You can <clears throat> smell it. This is so good. That looks very, very good. Man, uh, for a person that doesn't... Uh, I'm not necessarily a vegan or a vegetarian. I usually want meat with my meal. Right. <laughs> but this right here, this may change my mind. <laughs> this is really good. It smells really, really good. And then what we can do, we add our kidney bean at the end. That's the I feel like off. red beans are a big part. I feel like I've saw it a lot in your story. Yeah, so. Is that a big Jamaican? It, it is. Okay. Yeah. But uh, it's rice and peas. It's yes. not rice and red beans. beans it's yes. rice, oh. even though so those are peas. peas. It's not peas. It's not peas. Interesting. It's, yeah, it's red kidney so beans. Yeah. But we just call it rice and peas. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we just need a red stripe and. <laughs> there you go. And a some bowl. music. And yeah. the sun. And the, and the beach. Oh, yeah, sorry, we should have... Man, chef, that smells amazing. Yes. I'm excited to try it. I mm. need to find spoons. It's happening. I found some. They're down there somewhere. There we go. Get, where's Guy Brown? Guy, are you back there? Marco. Oh, he's going to miss out. Yep. If he's not here Snooze in the next few minutes. Lose, we <laughs> say. You got to be ready. Here's yours. Unless you're here, I'll, I'll open take that it one. for you. I'll open it for you. Appreciate it. We're hungry, chef. <laughs> Definitely. So you've been really busy since you've opened. It, it has been steady. Um, Twin City Eaters came and did an article. Makes Packed. it even. Mm -hmm. That's great, though. Yes, it is. It is. And <laughs> that's what we hope for, to get really get Nanny's name out there more across the Twin City, and not just the Twin City. We want to make sure when people travel from Duluth or wherever they're coming from up north, 
you know, they're excited, you know, it's on their agenda. Right, we have not, to stop. Not just to go to Mall of America, mm -hmm. but, you know, there's a Jamaican store that we really need to visit, and that is, that is the idea that we won't really awesome. want to bring out. So, and making that menu diverse as well, having yes. meat items, items, but also having those vegetarian Vegan. items as well. Yeah. So as you can see now, we're totally... Mm -mm. And it's all come together so good, where it's like, you know, it's like having to paint somewhere and you put all the right paints together. Mm -hmm. Yes, so, it's a piece of art. Yes. Cooking is an art. It, it is. is. It is an art. It's so colorful too. Look at that. See, you go there, you don't feel like you're eating. Like, you know when you go to eat sometimes, you're like, oh, I feel guilt and shame. No. I wouldn't feel that way about this. I'd be like, I, I just ate so pan. healthy. <laughs> not eat that entire pan and not even blink an eye. Oh my goodness. Yum. It's gonna be scalding hot, but. <laughs> yeah, oh, he has to put his garnish. Oh, gotta finish you it off works first. very hard on those. We'll I wanna do. learn how to cut like that. I gotta come to your. You eat with your eyes first. Oh, yeah, definitely. Sure. Is that green onion that you're putting on top That's there? That's green onion right okay. there. Finish Yum. it off. Beautiful. All right, bon appetit. Mm -hmm. yes. Can we dig touch in? It. I yes, know. sure. Please go ahead. It's, it's so, pretty. so pretty. Thank you, chef. <laughs> yes. I'm gonna get some veggies. See, this is why I love a spork. People don't understand. You can jab <laughs> and scoop. Oh, get, oh, sorry. I didn't mean to splash you. <laughs> <laughs> Try to get some of the broccoli here. Yes. Hold on. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Okay. The just... coconut sauce. Yes. Mm. It's so good. Mm. I'm double mm. dipping, Jason. I know we I know. just met. But well, I'll stay on my side of the bowl. You stay on your side. <laughs> of the bowl. No, that's my good. Yeah. This is so good, chef. My goodness. Mm. So remind everyone where you're located. So we are located on 969 Rice Street in Saint Paul, mm. in North End in Saint Paul, um, right next also to Mama's Pizza. So if you still are not able to find us, it's on the cross street of Rice and Front, on Rice Street. Mm. Amazing. This is so good. Yes. Thank you so much <laughs> for sharing really your story and your gift, mm. and um, we hope all the best for managing to make a kitchen. Check them out. Yeah, yes. and bring on Mom when, bring whenever mom. she's here. Bring I will her. definitely. Yeah. I will. All I right. will. Thank you, Chef. Thank That's you a wrap. Much. I'm going to keep digging in. <laughs> Bye, everybody. All right.